We're going to create some simple schematics to practice using Eagle and to draw before we breadboard our examples. To get started, let's go to File and New and then Schematic. This should pull up another window and this will be our design area. If you get a bunch of tabs over here on the left, your Sheets Design Manager, you can always uncheck them here to open up your screen and go back to view and bring them back up. I like to turn the grid on when I get started so I'll hit display grid on and leave it at 0.1 inch. The next step is to add a part. We're going to look for any parts that we've added so if you don't have any libraries here you can open your library manager look for available and browse for the libraries that we've previously installed. Just make sure to click and hit use and these should be available for in use. I can exit out of my library manager and my libraries should have been added. To get started we're going to create some simple resistor circuits. So let's pull up this resistor library scroll down and find our resistors and I'm going to choose the axial 0.3 and I'll hit OK. I'd like three total resistors in my two circuits so I'm going to place those right here. By hitting escape on the keyboard I'm able to come back into my add component or add part manager. I'll bring up the resistor and I'll go to power symbols. We're going to use VCC as our voltage supply. So we'll hit OK and we need two of these. Once I hit escape on my keyboard, I can now look for our ground symbol and I'm going to use this earth style. I'll hit OK and I'll place my two grounds. Once you're done, you can start rearranging your components. Let's use the move tool to click on the plus symbol and then move our part. Find out where you want to place it. If you'd like to rotate it, you can right click and move your part in the right orientation. You can then do that with all your parts. Once you like your orientation, we can start connecting our circuits by clicking the net tool. Make sure you get a small bubble. Click your endpoint and make sure it connects to the next. We'll do that again and we've completed this first series resistor circuit. For the parallel circuit, you can use the same tool and you can click at various points to make sure it locks. We'll create a net in the middle and those three are connected. We'll do the same here and then create a junction here. These two circuits are complete. The only thing that we need to do now is rename our components. So for our resistors we're going to click the value, click the center of your resistor and we'll say yes. The value of this resistor is 470 ohms. Click the value and select your other two. We can change our parts also by clicking on our supply and these are going to be 5 volts. As for our ground, if we'd like to change the label on our ground, we can do that here. So we could call it ground. and hit OK. Our two circuits are complete. We can start building our circuits on the breadboard and we can also save our schematic. And if we need to for any documentation purposes, we can hit File, Export, and Export an Image. And I would raise the resolution to about 300 DPI. Find out where you want to save it. Make sure it's a PNG file and our area will be just the full screen. I'll hit OK. I can pull up my desktop 
and my PNG file should be right here. And there's my circuit.